example of a different kind of form factor. So we can think broader, we can think about convertibles, we can think about notebooks. Uh, the same Kalel processor is running in this system. This is one of the favorites with our software developers back in Redmond. This is called the Cardu system, and it's running the same quad-core Kalel. And w when I play the video on this one, one of the things that you'll see is uh, next to it, I have open the task manager. And you might notice all four cores start, but none of the cores peg. None of the cores peg when launching and decoding high definition video. And in fact, the usage of those cores drops down quickly because again, we're using Microsoft Media Foundation to offload the, the hard work of decoding high definition graphics. And so that's really an important uh, element here. The same kind of offloading is at work with Internet Explorer. So I'll launch um, Internet Explorer, and this is one of the IE test drive sites. So this is hardware accelerated HTML5 uh, running on ARM. And this is really going to be an important part of the overall system because HTML, hardware accelerated HTML is at the basis of the Windows 8 developer platform. So if I go to launch one of those modern applications like Piano, this is actually based on HTML5. And you saw this app playing actually over here. One of the things to realize is these are the same app. This is running on x86. This one, I actually have a little microphone here so you can hear it, is running on ARM. It's the same app, completely cross-platform, based on the new Windows 8 application developer model. So I, that's, just, that's just at the beginning. 